bathroom. How do how do we can't just do Oh of course this thing is gonna My name is Lene DePriest. And my pronouns are they them. Kamiyan is non-binary while also knowing that I have an eating disorder and figuring out how to love my body as my non-binary self, but then also focus on recovery. Um, and part of that is, you know, I, I can't always take my full body in, in the mirror for the sake of my recovery. I don't even have a full-length mirror anymore, which is very liberating on the one hand, but on the other hand, it's like, on those days where, you know, it's like, I just want to be myself. Um, but I find that on some days, being non-binary and having an eating disorder and trying really hard to recover almost means that I just want to fly under the radar and not be seen. It's very hard to go out to any to any gay bar and not hear people constantly talking about weight and about their body and about body issues and it's um, it can be overwhelming. Then there's being non-binary and trying to figure out how do I want to present to the world mixed with in what way can I present where people see me as who I actually am versus who they want to see? There are days where I'm really struggling um, with, with my eating disorder. I'm really, really struggling to stay on top of things and to not spiral. And those are the days where I always look to my queer community because I think that there is an openness and a desire to, to take care of each other. For me, in a lot of ways, having that queer family um, has saved me so many times. Just knowing that I have someone who's there to listen and to not judge um, and not look at my body and question the validity of my eating disorder. Day to day, when I'm, when I'm with my queer family, it's like we are, we just are. Having that support system is so important and when you don't have it and even if you do have it also remembering to be your own support system first and that remind me that I'm dope regardless I'm dope so there's certain spaces where I can go and be queer but not necessarily be black or be trans there's trans spaces where I can go and can't necessarily be the other two I mean it's it's I think that's constantly a struggle. Um, just like, where can I go to just be me, <laughs> all of me, without having to educate anyone about my existence, especially being black. Cause it's like, sometimes that's enough for people to just slam the door in my face. And then it's like, oh, there's these other two <laughs> parts that I didn't get to. I had someone uh, who shared a, an article or something about safe spaces to go, safe countries to go if you're black. And it's like, cool, 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 cool. Um, okay, but what if you tack on being queer and being trans? <laughs> Is it still safe? Can all of me go? Or can I only bring this part of me and I guess I'll just leave the rest at home? Like, what do I do with the rest of myself? Being queer doesn't mean, we don't do it for everyone else, we do it for ourselves, you know? We aren't queer because people are watching, we're just queer. And we don't exist to make anyone's life harder, to make it confusing or more difficult, but we exist. We deserve to be celebrated, we deserve to be cared for, we deserve love whole love, unconditional love, not love in the sense of, well, I guess I can accept this. I mean, love, actual love. Dig deep, go there, do the work. We exist, we're not going anywhere.